Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Here's a 1924 Lincoln Penny from the United States. You see it says in God we trust at the top. Liberty here 1924 and over this one is a 1924 with an S underneath it for the San Francisco Mint. No mint mark means Philadelphia, S means San Francisco, and D means the Denver Mint. There are some incredibly valuable 1924 coins up there. They go up over $45,000. They have to be in pretty good condition, but let's talk about why they're so valuable and what the deal is with them. 1924 was 15 years after they first released the Lincoln Penny. came out in 1909 in its f initial version. It weighs 3.11 grams. In Philadelphia in 1924, they made 75 million. It's a 95% copper, 5% zinc and or tin. And the auction record for the Philadelphia one here with no mint mark is $38,238. That was in 2006. Since then, they found a mint state 68 and PCGS has graded two of them. And those are worth 54 thousand dollars. So you can find a Philadelphia coin from 1924 that's worth fifty four thousand dollars. If we go to the back of the coin you'll see that this is the old style, the wheat ears pennies. They still make pennies to this day. In fact it costs them between three and five cents to make a penny for the United States. They aren't 95 percent copper anymore. They are mostly zinc with a copper coating. So the pluribus unum at the top these are ears of wheat, or you might want to say the grain at the top of the wheat stalks that we make flour and wheat products out of. It says one cent here, United States of America. In the original pennies, there was a signature of the engraver on the back, VDB, but they stopped doing that after the first year. So when we look at this, there is a VDB on there. If we can blow it way up, we can just barely see the little lines right there on a the truncation of his shoulder. There's a V, a D, and a B. We'll see if we can see that on one of the other coins. Uh, perhaps we can see it on this. Yes, they're right there. See right there, you can see the V, the D, and the B uh, for Victor David Brenner on this coin. At San Francisco in 1924, they made 11.7 million. Again, all the same uh, makings in the 95% copper. The auction record for a San Francisco mint coin is $45,600. Currently, uh, they've found uh, 11 mint state 65s, PCGS has graded, and those are worth $47,500. At a brown version of this coin, and we'll talk about the red and the brown as we go further into this video. A brown version of this coin, a mint state 66 they found. So that's the highest mint state they've ever found. That's worth $10,000. So here's what a $45,000 penny looks like from the PCGS website. And you can see it's a 1924S. We look down here in the corner and we can see that it was sold at an auction in 2022, Heritage Auctions in 2022 for $45,600. These are just beautiful coins. It's not any better than a Mint State 65 from a newer coin, except there just aren't any of these around to find. And you can see this is a 1924S. You also see if you look up at the top, this is the red version of the coin and they actually grade it by the colors. The next one over is the red brown. And if we look at the red brown, we'll see that it's a lot different in color and kind of texture there and that one has a if we look at the bottom of that one we see it has a $3,500 and, and then if we go back to the brown we'll see that this is what a brown one looks like and some of these brown ones could be very expensive too and that's because there aren't many of them around if we look down here at the value of this this one sold for three thousand one hundred seventy three dollars for a brown one in 2017. But whenever you look at these on the PCGS website, make sure you scroll down and see if they found any better. And you, when you scroll down, you just go across and look at these numbers at the top until you get to the last number. And this is where it gets very interesting. 
because it turns out that they have found a mint state 66 of the brown and they value that at ten thousand dollars and finally they have uh, they made these at the Denver Mint. I don't have the 24, but I have the 1925. So the 1924, we'll just say 1924 here, and then we'd have a D like this underneath it. At the Denver Mint, they made two and a half million. The auction record for a Denver Mint 1924 is $19,550. If you do want to get the modern coins, most banks will have them, and often you can go in and ask for a, a penny roll of the 2024 pennies because that's how many of the banks get them new and if you do get a penny roll it's only going to cost you 50 cents and it'll have cost the u.s government probably about two dollars to make them you can also get all the new 2024 coins in a uncirculated mint set and a u.s mint silver proof set those the uncirculated mint sets for 2024 just came out on august 29th uh, 12 noon and it has 20 coins in it 10 Phillies and 10 Denver's the proof set Has all the San Francisco mint coins in 2024 and so it'll have one of each of the San Francisco mint coins You can get an irregular proof set or a silver mint set and those sets also include all of the five American women series quarters that came out in 2024 all right, if you're looking for these coins, sometimes it's really hard to get the Denver Mint coin. They made about 30 times as many at Philly, and they made about five times as many at San Francisco. That's probably one of the reasons why I don't have them. All right, well, that's all we have today from DC Coin World International Coin Channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you have in the comment section.